In this demonstration, we'll cover custom classification policies. We'll show you how simple it is to create custom classifications leveraging the Operavi Builder. We'll also talk about the built-in rules, Boolean logic, and regular expressions capabilities. And then we'll show you how to test your new custom policy using our engine. To begin, we'll log into the Operavi platform, and then we'll navigate to the top menu bar where we will select Policies from the menu bar, and then select the Classification tab. This is where you can select from over 140 predefined policies, or covering in this demo, we're going to talk about adding your own custom classification. So we'll select that option here. This will open up the Custom Classification Builder, where you will have four different tiles on the left to choose from, Rule, and then you'll have Boolean logic expressions and, or, and not. To begin, we'll drag and drop the Rule tile onto the grid. This will allow you to select from over 900 pre-built rule types along with regular expressions. You can start by typing in what you're looking for. For example, if I'm looking to create a rule that will look for social security numbers, I can then select the rule that I'm looking for and then set the confidence factor threshold that I want. So let's say I want something very strict. I can start with maybe a 90% confidence factor and update this rule. So now that I have the rule and the classification, I can actually click test to make sure that this classification is going to produce the results that I'm looking for. And this allows me to browse for a file or files or drag and drop multiple files onto this classification tester. I will drag and drop three files onto this for testing and upload them to the platform. Once they've been uploaded and the test is complete, you can see that only one out of the three files returns a result of classified. I can expand and see the exact selection is using for the classification. To produce different results, I can go back and I can change my confidence factor, let's say to 85 and update the rule. And once again, perform the test. By lowering the confidence factor threshold, I can now see that two out of the three files come back as classified. I can change the threshold again, back to the default of 75, run the test once again, and I can see now that all three files are returning as classified. So depending on the results that you're looking for and how large of a pool or how small of a pool of results you're looking to get, you can achieve that by tweaking the confidence factor along with the rule. That was a simple example of a custom classification that leverages only a single rule and being able to test that custom classification. Now let's talk about building a slightly more complex custom classification. We'll close this and we can go ahead and save this as a custom classification and we'll start a brand new custom classification. We'll once again start by dragging and dropping the rule tile onto the grid and this time we'll create a custom classification starting with a keyword. And by clicking the plus sign over here, we can add one or more keywords to search for within this rule. So let's say we're going to start by adding different variances of account number because we want to look for an account number that's specific to our industry. I can update this rule and now I have a rule that's looking for a specific set of keywords. I can then also now drag and drop Boolean logic tiles on top of my rule to create a more complex rule. So let's say I'm just not looking for the keyword account number. I want to also look for an actual account number as well. So now I'll select the and tile and drag and drop it onto the rule. So as you can see here, the note says this diagram structure is not valid because I have an and function, but I only have a singular rule. So I can make it valid by dragging and dropping another rule on top of the and tile. And now I can select the rule type I'm looking to leverage. So here, once again, I have my 900 plus different rule types, but I can also select regular expressions as well by selecting regex. And now you'll have to start by entering the regex value you wish to search for. If you're familiar with regular expressions, regular expressions allow you to search for not only numerical sequence, but you can search for words, you can search for alphanumeric sequences. It gives you a lot of different options leveraging regular expressions. 
this particular regular expression that I'm leveraging will actually look for a numerical sequence between nine and 16 digits. So I can go ahead and update the rule. And now I have a custom classification that's looking not only for contextual information, i.e. the word account number or different variances of the word account number, along with an actual account number sequence. I can once again also click test and drag and drop a test file to test. So I will drag and drop my test file and upload it once again into the platform and see that the results are that this test file is indeed classified. I'll expand the results and you can see that not only is the account number that I'm looking for highlighted, but it also matched the contextual information, the word account number. Once again, I can go ahead and save this as a custom classification and apply it to my entire data set. In this demonstration, we covered how you can create custom classification policies within the Operavi platform by leveraging a simplified custom classification policy builder. We also showed you how you could quickly create policies using predefined rules, built-in Boolean logic, and regular expressions. And then we showed you how to leverage built-in testing capabilities to prove that your brand new custom policy will produce the desired results before rolling them out into production. If you'd like to learn more, please go to git.operavi.com.